kick this off. There is a major difference in all the sizes of ferro rods. You'll find this one to be more common than your half inch. And from your half inch, this is a half inch, right? To your inch. <laughs> this is considered the monster ferro rod. And now what I want to do today is fashion this with a handle and some way of using this thing's heavy. I mean, there's a major difference in this this ferro rod than the other one. Now, I'll get to where I got it from and everything else in a minute. This is uh that's just the examples. Now I'm going to use this is uh fat wood and uh, a lot of folks refer to it as different things, lighter knot and stuff like that. You get it from uh dying uh limbs where on a pine tree where the sap tends to draw towards where it's injured and all that sap and you end up with uh, fat wood's great for any type of fire starting and you use it in mostly if you go to like the firewood sections inside uh, your grocery stores if you're looking for something that's fat wood you'll find stuff like this but not this size it's in little sticks and just to give you an example of where this comes from but this is a much larger piece that came from our woods and it's just been cut and you can see the nice fat nice thick nice thick layers of of wax and but this sap it's it's real heavy it soaks up it's the heaviest of of wood and it soaks up all that sap now the purpose of that is to shave off some out in uh, you, when you're on a camping trip or something like that, uh, you want to get a fire started, you can shave some off with your knife and then strike your ferro rod, which I use it for all my ferro rods. I just use fat wood because I can use it two different things. I can, you know, it, it works as a handle and you can shave a little bit off and you can see I've already shaved quite a bit off of this one, but you can shave some off and then get your fire started and it lights and it burns for a while. It puts out some black smoke. But yeah, I'm going to try and get this turned into something for a handle for this guy. Let's start it now. still got quite a ways to go but overall that's kind of what i'm going for <laughs> not this big you know i gotta cut i've got this rounded out some so it's going to be a little bit easier for me to shape it now and i just got to keep moving on it to get it to this scale that i want i just need to take off a couple of layers and that should be good all right now the next thing i need to do is burrow out a hole to fit this and you're going to need something in the inch range to burrow a hole to fit the back of this. And you could use JD Weld, you could Gorilla Glue it, whatever you want to do. Wood glue works pretty good because you're dealing with wood. But sometimes you know, the sappiness of this might not work as good. So just keep that in mind. It's an experiment every time I do it. Anyway, 
Now you just make yourself a hole. Got the hole made. I like that. It's kind of like a footprint. I want to. I want to carve this out some. I know. I wanted to go for round. That <laughs> round was key. But you know, I don't have a lay like everybody else. Like one of the fancy ones where I can actually dig in and get the sides and everything. I got pretty good. I got. I got it curved out. That's the most important part right now. Is making sure it was round. And uh, I wanted to go for that root look. You know what I mean? It's crazy looking. It's going to go with a project that I'm working on in the future. So if things are just a cookie cutter routine, then where's the soul, right? <laughs> ain't nothing got no soul if it ain't custom, right? That's the way I see it. You gotta have a little, everybody's different. Everything's different. All right. So let's see how that looks over there. Carving that out so well. That looks kind of cool. That's definitely one of a kind. Crazy. It's a monster ferro rod. You got to have a monster handle. Someone's going to be like, that's too big, man. But that's cool. And then it sits up just like that, man. Isn't that cool? So you'd be like, yeah, that ain't no ferro rod, homie. That's a ferro rod. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah. Challenge. It's the challenge ferro rod, isn't it? All right, man. Let me. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to coat this thing. It's gonna need to get coated and then it's gonna need to get coated before it sticks to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh I'm probably just gonna use some of my lacquer. I think I got some of that over here. My finish. I've got stain. I don't want stain. I'll, just, I'll find it here in a minute. I'll get it stained up. Or uh, lacquered. I need a lanyard. So Titan survival cord and one of the coolest compasses ever i've used these before on the channel a couple of times and i've got another glow in the dark one down here it's just like this but i like these compasses better you only have to you just have to goo on the back you gotta peel the goo off <laughs> nothing would be nothing would be off you know awesome unless you had to peel something off of it right there's that it's got that cool lanyard. I want to keep that orange lanyard to it. I don't know why, but I don't want this to be super long. It just needs to be long enough. And I only want to go with uh, the, these are glow in the dark beads. You can buy them at any arts and crafts store. And I would use like green or something like that with this, but I think just the plain white ones would do the trick. Just for a pace counter but i have a pace counter video you don't have to watch me do another pace counter do you one two three four five six seven eight nine and then i can work on my other side anyway just gonna snap this together real quick and uh, dang it. and then i'll be ready to put this on the ferro rod sure but i think nathan 4071 used to sell these he's a youtuber but i i know i got it from ebay and i think i bought it from him and that's his his setup i right, scrape off some of this extra layer here that thing really throws those sparks <laughs> it just barely put a dent on I always love using the speedy sharps if you guys haven't noticed but I usually put these on there because it's it's good for sharpening my knife and I can use it for striking a ferro rod this <laughs> thing's a beast and it? it's so funny so what we'll say oh man those half inch ferro rods that are four inches long or epic or seven inches long man that one inch <laughs> but this thing, this thing feels like it'd knock a fool out <laughs> if you need, you're getting a street fight in the middle of the woods <laughs> would that be a woods fight you get in a woods fight you get in a fight with a grizzly bear you whack him over the head with this thing you'll knock him out for sure all right well there you go i just wanted to show you guys it it's striking and hitting something but that's the finished product all right god bless you guys take care